Welcome to Bunny's Designs. <laughs> this is a live stream recorded on Ustream.tv and also recorded for YouTube for people to watch at their leisure. Uh, I had a question about the Derwent art bags and it depends what you want to put in them. They're very customizable and so um, you can put things in the top. Oh, I've got some more of these little stickies. Um, but if you're going anywhere, I would, if you're in the house, you bob your phone in there. You can carry it around and it sits on the sofa. So in this particular one, I only meant, it, meant to buy one, but I bought one for my daughter and she hasn't used it. So I put all my pastels in here, my pastel pencils, and all the things that I use. So I've got an eraser, electric eraser, I've got a sharpening guide guard sorry um, and then I normally have my eraser uh, my scalpel blade in there with the eraser at the end I've got pencils um, I've got a little sponge in there make old makeup sponges and all my blending tools there's a tiny little travel water brush because this set I can't actually use it because it's um, it's too difficult for me to hold so I've taken that out for tiny spaces because I normally fix all my pest well I always fix all my pastels with a damp brush and I have one of these um, they're like a nail file but it's actually for pastels but I wouldn't really use that because it's too dusty but it's in there if I need it <coughs> so you can quit that quite fit quite a bit in there and again you could put your little water bottle in there and you can put your purse in there your phone in there and it would be safe so I've bought extra sleeves. I think you get three, and I've bought uh, I've bought some extra ones, but I've got two sets of pastel pencils. I've got a set of 90, and I also have a set of the 72. Um, but one of my spare sleeves is if I'm working on a particular page, rather than putting the pencils back, I normally try to keep them there until I finish the page, and then I'll put them in the order. Or I turn them the wrong way around. So this one, although it's too tall, you can zip it up so your pencils are safe. <clears throat> this is a colour book, so you've got you've got quite a bit of space in there. Um, I think I measured it was two inches. I think yeah, five centimetres deep, and you've got the same at the other side. You've got your ring binder. But I do have an extra sleeve in there. I've got four sleeves. Um, they come with three. Um, and the, the Colin Thompson is 11 and a half by eight and eight and a half. Is it 11 three quarters, eight and a half? Normal printed paper size. So you could get a little file in there, but it would sit proud. Uh, but it does zip up the sides. Oopsie. Now normally it's really it's just my hands are not very well and it would be easier to actually pull it forward. And you can see there's a lot of room in there. I've had six full sleeves. So if you didn't have your colour book, you can get two more sleeves in there. I've had six. And it does have um, a shoulder strap on it as well. It's made of canvas. So you can, that's quite safe. Those pencils are not going to fall out of there, even though the top's open. Because I'm quite precious with my, my, my pencils, especially my other pencils. So <coughs> if you didn't have your tall book, you had a, a smaller sketchbook or a smaller colour book, then it just fits together. And it's quite nice to sit. Mine sits at the end of the sofa most of the time because that means everything's there, everything's handy. Um, and I haven't got a tray with lots of things everywhere. So in my other one, because as I say, I bought, th these are for the girls for Christmas. And my daughter who's at uni uses hers a lot, but my daughter who's at home, she likes all her pens spread out all over. <laughs> so this is the strap. You, have, you get a strap with them. 
Now, there isn't a lot in this one. There's my, um, and I, I use mine loose. So um, I've got four in here. But I always think they're easier to use loose. I keep them in here if I'm doing anything. But then when I'm working, I can take them out and flip them over. Oops, sorry, butterfly. Where's it gone? And flip them over. But there's, there's room for a lot more than four sleeves in there. And there's nothing in this bit. So if it was the water, you'd want the brushes, a little water pot. Um, you can fit quite a lot in that section. I normally keep my brushes in something hard so you're not going to bend them. So they would go in there. Oh, that one might not go in. Uh, those blending tools wanted to go back in the other one. Uh, have a little water pot somewhere. So you've got your brushes and water pots and things. So you can get quite a lot in there and a, and a decent sized colour book as well. Or sketchbook. Most sketchbooks would go in there. A5 size or um, colour size they are. So they have a really good zip and you can see, you know, there's quite a lot of room in there. It's not stuffed by any means at all. So I've had sticks quite happily sit in there. Um, and I don't seem to have a ruler. <laughs> I don't have a ruler. Yes, I do. So that's about four and a half pulled it out it would be nearly five by eight and a half and it's about ten just over ten so you've got quite a lot of space to play in there and so you have that nice big pocket at the front where you can put your phone if you want. If I'm in the house, I normally put my phone or my uh, my little thing on my phone. My phone goes in there. And I do have a large phone. <laughs> so you can, things are quite safe in there. I think my phone actually goes that way and it'll shut down. If I'm in the car, I'll take it like that. Um, but if I was going in anywhere else, I wouldn't put my phone in there. I'd just put a water bottle or something that I wasn't bothered about losing. But if you're not going far, you can get your purse and your phone in the inside pocket. So everything zipped up. Um, so I wish I'd had one when I was at college, actually. And that's my daughter at uni uses it when she goes to college. She's got all the pens in there. She's got a sketchbook in there. She puts a phone in there. She has a little bit of money in there as well. So it's quite a nice little bag. Um, and it's a nice size. Any, any bigger and you'd fill it and then it would be uncomfortable. So it's been quite well thought out. So I just thought you'd like to see what goes in these little bags. <laughs> Thanks for watching.